beautiful people and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Gianna Leanne and today I'm coming back with yet another book shopping video, but we're making it thrift edition because I love thrift book shopping. If you guys didn't know this by watching other videos on my channel, I've made a few of these. I absolutely love doing thrift book store vlogs, but like I'm kind of getting sick of the ones near my house. So today we are making a trip downtown Toronto because there are a lot more bookstores over there that I haven't seen yet and they're all new to me. I have no idea what selection they have, what they even look like. So we are going downtown today to go thrift book shopping and I am so excited to see what we can find The deals we can snatch up the new additions that we can find new releases like the selection is endless over there So that's today's video and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me And obviously when we get back I will give you guys a haul of all the amazing finds that we had But before we get into it make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because we have so much fun over here I would love for you to join the family. So make sure you guys subscribe. Anyways, let's go shopping. You guys, that was a big fail. First one was a fail. We are walking to the next stop. Hopefully this one will be better. That other place was really, really, really pretty. They had a lot of classics and like known books, but like I didn't know any of the titles and they didn't have any current books. And I'm looking for like popular books that I can find for like really good deals, you know? So we're gonna go to the next one. It's like rain drops as they roll down the window. They don't have the first one though. And this one. It is haul time, yay! Had to get some caffeine. This is our bag of books, you guys. We did end up going to four different bookstores, which you guys saw in the footage, and I didn't know that Toronto had so many little tiny thrift bookstores. Like, one of them that we went to, it wasn't even on my list that I looked up beforehand. We were walking to one of the ones that I did actually plan to go to, and then we saw this little tiny in the ground little bookstore, so. That was really cute. So we stopped in that one too. Let's get these books out. Ooh, we ended up getting four books today. I honestly was gonna get more, but I wasn't super successful in most of the bookstores when we went because I feel like, like I said, a lot of them were more classic books and special editions and just more older books. And what I had in mind was new releases and popular books for cheaper prices. A few of the bookstores, we did not have much luck, but we did find some books overall. I'll put the total of what I spent on the screen because I don't remember right now, but I'll put the total here 
year. For four books, I ended up getting them for this much. That's insane. Like, I saved so much money. But let's just get into the haul, right? That's that's what we're here for. So b and Books, that's my favorite thrift bookstore. I've been to it a few times and not this location though. This location was massive and gorgeous. I knew I was gonna buy books here, but I did end up picking up three. So majority of our books was from this one. The first one is my best find. I'm just gonna show it to you guys right away. I'm not gonna make you guys wait. It's The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. Look at how gorgeous this cover is. I've never seen this book or this edition or anything, so I don't know if maybe this is like a special edition cover, if it's just a book that I never heard of. I don't know. Let me know down below if you guys know, possibly, because I've just never seen this, but I did go book shopping the day before Valentine's Day, so I thought it was so fitting, and it's Christina Lauren, and I love them as authors. So, yeah. I ended up getting this book for $7.99, and it was originally $22, so I saved so much money. It's a super short book, too, so I feel like it could be like super fast paced just a cute little rom-com it says in comes a delightfully charming love story about what happens when two assistants tasked with keeping a rocky relationship from explosion start to feel sparks of their own i'm super excited i'm hoping it's a workplace romance because i've been getting into those a lot recently like surprisingly i never thought that i'd be really into that trope i felt like it was just gonna be too boring for me but after reading the dreamland billionaire series i'm a lot more open to it plus if it's an author i like too it seems like it could be a good pick and I honestly just can't get over this cover it's definitely one of the most gorgeous covers I have on my shelf right now and you guys know I've gotten better at it but I do pick books based on their covers sometimes and in saying that this is the most gorgeous one <laughs> I'm excited to read more into it and see what this book is really really about but this one thing is so funny it says from the hilariously zany and heartfelt book list Christina Lauren comes a romantic comedy that proves if it's broke you might as well fix it I just love them so much. So this was the first book we picked up and the one I was most excited for. We also got Lucky by Marissa Stapley. Stapley. I also really, really, really was drawn into this cover. I had this on my Goodreads want to read thing ever since it released, I'm pretty sure. So I'd had my eye on this book forever. I just, it always slipped my mind. So I ended up getting this book for $9.99 and it was originally $22. Another crazy, crazy steal and it's in perfect condition. There's no flaws in this book and it's super, super short because I don't know why but there was a lot of these copies at this bookstore because there was the big paperback which is the one that I got and why it's so thin but then there was a smaller paperback that was like the same size as this and it obviously was a little bit thicker. I ended up getting the bigger size but this one drew me in because it's kind of all revolved around scamming and like con artists and stuff like that and I feel like that could be such a fun plot especially she's a scam artist with her boyfriend and they perform a massive heist and that's all I know so far like from just just reading the blurb on the back at the store. Yeah, so she pulled off an a million dollar heist with her boyfriend and she's ready to start a brand new life with a new identity when things go sideways. I mean, she's gonna have to learn to live with the consequences after performing a heist that big. Like, that's insane. And then overall, it says that this is a novel about truth, personal redemption, and the complexity of being good. It introduces a singularly gifted, multi-layered character who must learn what it means to be independent and honest before her luck runs out. I don't know, I feel like it could be cute in the end. It's obviously gonna be like pretty action-packed. I mean, I'm hoping things definitely go sideways like it's described, you know? I don't know, I just love the colors of this cover, so. Oh, it's a Reese's Book Club too. Hmm, interesting. This will definitely be fun. And Taylor Jenkins Reid put a quote. She said, the most fun I've had reading a novel in a long time. If Taylor Jenkins Reid has something nice to say, I know I'm gonna enjoy this book. Come on, let's be honest. And the last book I picked up from BMV Books was Have You Seen Her by Katherine McKenzie. Another book that I've had on my Goodreads forever, like ever since it released, and I just never picked it up. But I got this book for $8.99, and it was originally $23. Like, I can't make these deals up, you guys. Like, I have saved so much money with brand new books, and there's no flaws to them. Like, I've saved so much money with these being so cheap at thrift bookstores instead of going to Indigo or Chapters to go buy a brand new original price. I don't know. I'm just trying to convince you guys that this is your sign to try thrift book shopping if you haven't done it before because I'm telling you, showing you, that you can save so much money and you can find really, really good books. But once again, like I did not know too much about this book. I kind of just picked it up because I saw it there, it was on sale, and I had it on my Goodreads, so I just kind of knew it was a one to grab. Huh, interesting. So basically it seems like it's about a woman running away from her hometown because she wants to start a new life. She's obviously a refuge 
in this new town, trying to find her way, trying to build herself up a new image. And then it says that Cassie quickly falls into old patterns, joining a group of fellow seasonal workers and young adventurers. She meets Petal, a young woman living in a trailer with her much older girlfriend, keeping a detailed diary of the goings-ons of the park, and Jada, a recent college graduate on a cross-country road trip with her boyfriend, documenting their journey on Instagram. When these three women cross paths, Cassie's past catches up with her, and the shocking consequences ripple out far beyond what anyone could have imagined. Hmm. Seems like it's gonna be another fast-paced book, hopefully. And I don't know why, I was like on kind of like a darker slash thrilling past, besides the Christina Lauren book, but I feel like I'm going back into like my thriller era for some reason, because I've been so romance heavy lately. So I'm excited to pick up like another dark book, but I have a feeling that this one's gonna be good considering I've been having my eye on it for so long. And I don't know anything about this author or about this book in general, cause I feel like it's not talked about too much. So hopefully if I get to it, I can give you guys my opinions and let you know if it's gonna be worth the read or not. And the last book that I picked up was in that little tiny little in the ground bookstore that we found just walking by. They had amazing selections down there but it was once again older books. I didn't see one popular book that I knew except for the first Akatar book. So I was gonna get it but I just knew I'm not ready to pick that up yet you guys. I'm not ready to pick up Akatar. That was the only known book that I saw there that I knew. So I definitely had to to step out of my comfort zone and just pick up a book that I've never heard of before and I ended up getting safe by SK Barnett. This cover is also really, really nice. I say that in all my bookstore vlogs because I just love covers of books. It's like one of my favorite things of owning books. It's just so colorful and so vibrant. I love it. But this one is also a book that's definitely up my alley. I do like to read about darker topics and darker things. So definitely check trigger warnings for this book because it does deal with a kidnapping. It specifically says a kidnapped girl survived 12 nightmarish years. Now she's safely back home. Or is she? After Jenny is kidnapped for X amount of years. She finally escapes from her kidnapper and when she finally makes it back home, she starts realizing that maybe it's not so safe at home. Like her parents and everyone there are kind of like, where have you been? Why are you here? They're not really welcoming her back into the family and stuff like that. So it seems like her home is almost more dangerous than when she was with her kidnapper, you know? So I don't know. I'm going to go into it blind because it is one of those books that I just kind of want to see what happens. But Lisa Jewell did put a quote on it. She said, dark, compulsive, full of, oh my God, moments. If you think you know where it's going, you don't. Crazy, right? And it's super short, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this could be so good. It even says a roller coaster ride of lies, betrayal, and family secrets that just might be the twistiest thriller you'll read all year. That's perfect. So I definitely want to put this on my TBR for a coming month soon because it has intrigued me. And ever since I read the back of it, I haven't really stopped thinking about it. Oh, and I also got this one for $9.99. I don't know how much it was originally. It says originally $23. So once again, a really, really good deal because this book is brand new. There's like no flaws to it whatsoever. So that was the last book I ended up picking up from that little tiny bookstore. But those are the books that we ended up picking up today, downtown Toronto while we were thrift book shopping. I love doing this, you guys, like I've said multiple times on my channel and how much I love thrift book shopping. So if you guys want a part two to this of more bookstores downtown in the big city or just thrift book shopping videos in general, please let me know because like I said, they're so fun to make and I would love to know if you guys like this sort of stuff and if you guys wanna keep seeing it. But yeah, overall, this was just so, so, so much fun. And I ended up picking up so many books, saved so much money, and and that's always a plus, you know? I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. And also don't forget to check out my Patreon down below to join my Patreon family because they already saw this book haul before you guys are seeing it. They just get to see so many more sneak peeks and literally everything. So make sure you guys check that link so you guys don't miss out on things like that. But other than that, I really, really hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye. And today, thrift books storage oh I was looking for this <laughs> I wasn't so do 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 do